Hi there and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I'm Baron. Let's take a look around here. One of the Ranger vets looked at me. I sure hope I, I get to about I miss California. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together, but he hasn't shown up yet. Uh, I haven't seen him. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Don't worry, you're not bothering me at all. Nelson's back in our hands. I guess this is a safe room. I hope we can defend it this time. Probably. Not so safe anymore. Hello. Hello. Not so safe anymore. Lawson sure knows his way around the dam. Um, there's a pool of blood on the floor. I think we have perception of six, right? Um, special? Yeah. You can even one up it by equipping this. Examine the stain. You examine the area and notice a bloody wrench and a toolbox nearby. Someone was killed here recently and judging by the scene it was one of the engineers. You should keep an eye out for any engineers acting strangely. Okay. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. So let's get to the visitor center. Which way do I need to go anyway? Is it... Is it this one? Looks like it. And Fallout crashes. Okay, so we hadn't had a crash in some time. Let's climb the ladder. We got ourselves a little range of family reunion now. Time's right for a few. Have you finished your security sweep? I'm ready. When will the president be here? Looks like that's his vertebrae coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Okay. There's the vertebrae. You take your shit. Or maybe we don't. Uh, don't land on me.
There's the president. Okay. You're looking at a presidential vertebrate. The assassin could have done something to the vertebrate. Repair or explosives 50 or higher required. We examine the vertebrate. You search the vertebrate and notice a strange item that doesn't belong. Upon examination, you notice it's a bomb. You skillfully disable the bomb and remove it from the vertebrate. Thank you. Do you mind? Oh. Fine, whatever. No, apparently that was not a good thing. This is not good. Shit. I can't get out of here. Okay, we're good. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Born in a tin shack on the outskirts of one pine, Jeremy Watson never had any easy. His father was a caravan guard on the short loop, and his mother, like many Californians, braved the ruins of the old world as a prospector. They, they suffered, suffered through water, water shortages, shortages raider attacks, attacks, and the Brotherhood brother of War. Hello. Like our party Sierra Nevada, they endured. But the, the time, time came when they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve years ago, they called out for help, help. and the Republic heard them. them. Troopers, Troopers rangers, rangers just, just like you, answered the clarion call. Men and, and women stepped step forward, forward to say, I will, I will carry the weight. weight. And at all late, we made true on our promise, driving out the raided tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We carried the weight, and though we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did not break us. Ten years ago, Chief Malice met with representatives of the Desert Rangers to discuss terms of what would become the Ranger Unification Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the desert rangers into the Republic. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's legion and the tyranny of his regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What is the bad to us? Sometimes we forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. Sometimes we take those privileges for granted that our warriors fought so hard to achieve. We must always remember that wherever Californians stand, we carry our principles with us. Equal respect, representation, and protection under the law. See, this is the real ranger. This ranger was killed not too long ago. He looks to be the sniper that was stationed to watch from the top of this tower. This is the same fire that burned in the heart of the whole world that preceded us. That is the assassin that we, we killed. We are the heirs of that civilization. Tortured, 
waters eastward of the Pacific into the darkness of this wasted land. When the Republic called the men and women of California to carry that fire across the Mojave, Jeremy Watson answered, You answered, Together you carried the weight. And when B.F.C. Watson's platoon came under attack at Forlorn Hope, he took the greatest risk. Not only for his fellow Californians, but for California itself. He was prepared to make the most noble of sacrifices to defend the principles of our republic, even here, on the vast soil. His actions are obedient to all of us who stand here today in tribute to his valor. Private First Class Jeremy Watson, on behalf of the Senate and people of the new California Republic, it is my honor to present you with the Star of Sierra Madre. Not far from this spot, a monument stands as a tribute to the sacrifice made by those who came before us. The men and women who fulfilled the promise we made to the desert rangers. Its back is inscribed with the names of the troopers and rangers who carried the weight. And because they made the most noble sacrifices, it did not break us. Four years ago, we held this dam. Four years ago, we carried the weight. Four years ago, we drew a line through the Mojave as clear as the Colorado River. A line that Caesar cannot cross. Today, you stand here with our brothers and sisters to hold that line. Today, you honor all Californians by carrying that weight. Today, you are the waves of the Pacific, pushing ever eastward. You are the sequoias rising from the Sierra Nevadas, defiant and enduring. You are the great western light of California, torchbearers in the darkness, living reminders of all that is best in our republic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's nice to fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? You think I want to get shot off at all? Okay, because he still thinks he's going to blow up the Verdi Bird, he doesn't do anything. If he knew we would have, that we disarmed the bomb, he would have taken a knife and tried to stab the president. And on that tower there was an assassin that threw the real ranger down the tower and killed him. And took the place of the... Um, the ranger and would have shot him with a sniper rifle over there. That's why I killed him. And those are all the threats that we actually have. When I tried to use the door to get out, that was stupid. Should have just used the ladder. Yeah, you know. And he actually starts flying. Can I talk to you? Apparently I can't. And that was that. He's safe. You'll be keeping an eye out for anything suspicious. Um, I found a bomb on the president's a bomb vertebrate. On the president's vertebrate. Only a limited number of people had access to the vertebrate. We have to get the president out of here now. I'll cancel the speech and have security search the area. We can't relax until we get the president out of here safely. Not now. Well, maybe we should have waited a moment. For him to actually leave. Okay. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. Good job today. We got the president out safe and sound. I couldn't have done it without you. You have good job today. We got the president out safe and sound. I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. Wait, no, I can't tell you. Good job today. That's stupid. 
I wanted you ad to at least uh, arrest the guy. Shouldn't you be keeping an eye out for anything suspicious? I found a detonator on that man over there. What the hell? This must control some sort of bomb that he was going to use to kill the president. Nice work catching this. I'll have my rangers go deal with this man right away. Okay. Not now. Oh, okay. Okay. You can get your shit. You can get your shit. Good job today. You got the president out safe and sound. And I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. You're welcome. They have nice gear too. Those are the Black Rangers. They are the most powerful um, elite troops that the NCR can bring to bear. Huh? Bring to bear? <laughs> I think now we can loot this one too. Okay. Let's take a look at a quest. We did that. Let's quickly go um No. Yep. And drop a few things. Uh, I'll pause the video while I do that. Okay, I have my shit organized. Let's head over to El Dorado substation. And we should actually do what? Go to the El Dorado power station and install the override ship. Hey. Power the substation. Keep moving. Okay, that was easy. Um, Yeah, I'm still getting the messages. Oopsie. From uh, my hand loading of ammo. I literally have thousands of bullets. I'm not carrying them around all the time. At least not all of them at the moment. Let's go to the penthouse.
Enjoy your time in Vegas. President Kimball survived his visit to Hoover Dam. Nice one. Now, moving on. Don't you love seeing the Lucky 38 all lit up? Sign of things to come. Exciting news. The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack imminent. Monster of the East ready to roll. Well, I'm ready to go to the dam. Great. So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there are two ways we can win this thing. Hear that? We have options. You could route the dam's power output to the facility under Fortification Hill. That'll restart its reactor, just like you did with the Lucky 38. That'll wake up the Securitron army you left on standby and give us enough force to push the Legion and the NCR straight out of the Mojave. The other option is destroy the dam's generators. Without those, it's just a big bunch of concrete. The NCR won't have any reason to stick around. You don't have to decide yet. For now, all you have to do is take this override module and install it on the terminal in the power control room. Good luck. See you at the dam. Okay. You are committed to fight for an independent Vegas at the Battle of Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now, before you cross the point of no return. Let's do this. Ah, good, we have them. I was worried for a moment that um, Veronica and... The eye would wouldn't be with us. Okay. This will be fun. Let's take a look at the map. So I need to go like way over there. Sorry, I'm not hitting. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have a lot of super sledges. Okay. That, that explains why I can't move. Oh, we're getting close. You have an axe. You're dead now. was amazing.
Okay. Does jumping? Yes, finally. Ooh, got something good for me. Yes. Is it a dress? Uh, actually, I'm gonna give you a few super sledges. Or at least one. The thing is, you can't carry the Legion Centurion armor. Yeah, she doesn't carry it. Fine, whatever. Let's dress them again. Those are the boomers. Looks like we won. Uh, maybe I should use a stim pack or two. So we need to get in here, is that correct? Pretty much looks like. Where's my right shotgun? Where's Eddie? Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Please don't tell me they killed Eddie. No, they didn't. Okay, where do I need to go? Ah, apparently somewhere over there. Anyway, it's late, so we will take a break and we will continue in the next video. So, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.